how to talk about Fred Terman. That's an interesting assignment because the man had many personalities. Maybe he had only one personality. Uh, a story is told of him uh, that uh, he loved to work. He rarely took a vacation. He loved to write books. And he told Joe Pettit, who followed him as dean of the School of Engineering at Stanford, that if you just wrote a page a day, at the end of a year, you'd have a 365-page book. It worked for Terman, but for few others. He had the discipline and the focus that was necessary to do that with his life. But this is a man that loved Stanford more than anything else. He grew up in these hills. His father came here and was a very famous professor of psychology, uh, developed the Stanford Binet IQ test, and uh, was generally responsible for assisting in the development of what was and still is regarded as one of the premier departments of psychology in the world. Fred Terman, for his part, developed the premier electrical engineering department in the world. And then when he came into the dean of the engineering office, uh, undertook to make the School of Engineering one of the premier schools in the world, and uh, did a great deal to accomplish that. In the course of doing that, encouraged his own students, Hewlett and Packard and so on, to develop companies, uh, and encouraged Stanford over time to realize that its land could be used to promote uh, the generation of, of these companies. In other words, the degree to which Silicon Valley has its roots at Stanford is essentially the degree to which Fred Terman was able to conceptualize and then persuade the trustees that his concept uh, was meritorious. He uh, never told a joke, as far as anybody knows. Nobody can remember him laughing very much. Was a very serious man. Uh, but uh, also very generous. When he uh, got honoraria for talks that he gave as a result of being the Dean of Engineering, rather than put those honoraria in his own account, he put them in account within the school. And when he left the deanship to go become provost, left an assignment to the school to use that money in a way that would be beneficial for the school. The idea that was generated, partly by Terman and by others, was wouldn't it be a fine thing if you took the top 5% of the graduates of this school and told them that you wanted them to think about what teacher in high school or grade school had made the greatest difference in their life and invite that teacher to Stanford at the expense of the School of Engineering for a weekend. We still do this. We're going to do the Terman lunch for the top 5% of the graduates two weeks from now. The scenario is we will have each one of these graduates having selected a high school teacher. They will come from all points of the globe. I've had them from Islamabad and Menlo Park in the same luncheon. The faculty member who is the student's advisor will stand up and talk about this student. The student will stand up and explain why it was that he chose this teacher as the teacher that made the greatest impact on his life. And then the teacher stands up and talks about this student, at the end of which there's not a dry eye in the house. We have about 400 students graduating, so we have 20 students in the top 5%. That's a legacy of Fred Terman. 